Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. How are you doing on tonight? Amen. Amen. Gonna do a shout out. Amen. Throw a wave. Let me know you're on on tonight. Amen. How you doing, Sister Wood? Amen. Praise the Lord, Sister Beverly. Good evening, Sister Evelyn. How are you? Sister Chantel. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Sister Felicia, Sister Clara. How are y'all on tonight? Amen. Amen. I pray you had a wonderful day on today. Amen, and that the Lord has used you in a mighty, 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 and major way. Amen, and praise the Lord. Amen, on tonight, amen, we're going to get into what the Lord has placed upon our heart to share. Amen, and it's always our prayer that you are richly and truly blessed, amen, by what is shared, amen. Hey, Sister Sandra, how you doing? Amen. How are you doing? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and begin, amen, and I'm going to do a selection. I hadn't done it in a, in a while, amen. Sister, Sister Clara said, hello, Chris. Amen, amen. You know, you, you know, Chris, you do the little nod, you know, it's just cool like that. Amen, amen. We thank God for him and the gift that he is to the body of Christ. Amen. We praise, we praise the Lord. Amen. Growing up as a child, yeah. Hey, come on. In my mother's care, my mother told me, yeah, hey, Jesus would always be there. Never, never let me alone. 
minister to us. Yeah, that's all right, man. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my. Help yourself, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear you, man. I know that's right. Abundantly above all that you could even ask or think. Amen. And praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you, saints of God, on tonight. Amen. And we give him praise. Amen. For all his many blessings. Amen. <clears throat> we praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And thank you, Jesus. Amen. On tonight. I want us to get our Bibles out on tonight. <clears throat> get your Bibles out on tonight. And uh, we're going to go to 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter number 5 on tonight. 1 Peter chapter number 5 on tonight. My, my, my. Just pray. Amen, that you're encouraged on this evening. Amen. First Peter chapter 5. And we're going to take a look at verses 8, 9, 10, and 11 on this evening. Amen. First Peter 5, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Amen. The word of God, it says this says, be sober, <laughs> be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. My, my. Look what it says. Resist him, steadfast in the faith knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. My, my. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, <laughs> my, 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 perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. My, my, my. Verse 11. To him be the glory and the dominion <clears throat> forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray on tonight. Dear God, thank you. Thy word is true and thy word will last forever. Lord, we come on tonight, Lord, praying, dear God, that you would minister to our hearts through your word. Fill your servant with your spirit, with your holy and righteous spirit, 
so that your people are truly and richly blessed. Lord, have your way. Have thine own way. We thank you on tonight for what you have done already and what you are getting ready to do. Lord, we just walk in anticipation of you doing exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could even ask or think. We thank you and we love you, Lord. It's in the mighty name of Jesus, the Christ, our Lord and Savior, we do pray. Amen. Amen and amen again. Truly, God is good and he is truly good all of the time. But yet at the same time, God is not just good because he does what? Good for you. He's good because he is God. My, 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 my. Amen. Let's take a look at the word of God. Amen. And my prayer is that we would allow the word to minister to our hearts in such a way to where we understand that God's word. Amen. is not just to be known and, and, and remembered and just what, what uh, memorized. God's word is meant, amen, to be placed in our heart, in our minds, to the point to where when we move, when we live, when we have our being, we are able to take the word of God at its word and live it out, apply it, and let the word, amen, encourage us, direct us, and be what it needs to be in our life. Amen. And praise the Lord. So the word of God was really meant to be lived out, not just learned. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's take a look at, amen, the word of God. Amen. The apostle is talking, amen, at this time. Amen. Amen. And we know this is First Peter, amen. And he's sharing some encouraging words. Um, now, mind you, during these times, <laughs> praise the Lord, they really had to watch out for their lives. <laughs> the crazy part about it is, you know, none of us, amen, are being persecuted to the point to where, amen, we are risking our lives to proclaim the name of Jesus Christ. To where we are risking our lives to go to church. To where we're risking our lives to, 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 to say the name of Jesus the Christ. But at this moment and at this time, amen, we know the apostles went through. Amen. And just for uttering the name of Jesus, amen, it could cost them their life. Lord have mercy. And it's amazing how in our day and our time, we allow certain, certain things to trip us up. But if we were living in these times, amen, it would really put our faith to the test. Because why? <laughs> because really and truthfully, we would be persecuted to the point to where you had to make a decision. Will you utter the name of Christ or lose your life? Amen and praise the Lord. So you've got to understand this one thing that children of God, we got it good. We Well, put it like this. We got it better, amen, than a whole lot of individuals. Amen and, and praise the Lord that had to go through when, when, when Jesus Christ was on the scene. So you've got to understand this one thing. If folk just talk about you, amen, and just kind of kind of try to scandalize your little name, amen, and try to make you look bad. Can I help you? That ain't nothing. They tried to kill the apostles, amen, praise the Lord. You got to understand why. And, and it was because of their what? Of their faith in Jesus and Jesus the Christ. And here's what the apostle is trying to get us to understand. You got to get this one. You see, as a Christian, as a Christian, living life as a bona fide believer, one who really has placed their faith in Christ. I want to help you. Many times people quote these scriptures, amen, and praise the Lord. And they quote them, amen, out of a, out of a selfish nature, out of a nature to where really and truthfully they take it 
Amen. And really, they're not applying anything to their life. They're not living for Christ. They're really not doing, amen, the work of the ministry. But they'll quote God's word, amen, as if, amen, God, amen, got some kind of problem, amen, up there. But God, God knows, he knows, amen. You got to understand this scripture right here, amen, it ministers, amen, to the heart of the individual, who says, guess what? Jesus Christ is my Lord. This passage is for the one who says, my life is no longer my own. This passage is for the one who says, I put everything aside to follow Christ. Lord have mercy. This scripture is for the one who says that guess what? As we would say, ride or die, amen, Jesus Christ, we're going to ride or die, amen, and praise the Lord. Can I help you? The apostles was ride or die, amen, and praise the Lord. They risked their life, amen, for what? For proclaiming the gospel of Jesus the Christ. So I want to just tell you on tonight, this scripture is just not a patty cake scripture for somebody who just want to quote scripture. Oh no, this is for the one who has sold out to the kingdom of God. Lord have mercy and said, you know what? It doesn't matter who talks about me. It doesn't matter, amen, who come against me. It doesn't matter, amen, if I have to speak up for Christ, amen, and I'm talked about and ridiculed and persecuted. It doesn't matter if I'm living holy and I get persecuted for being righteous. It says this. It says this is for the one who says that, guess what? Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior, and I'm going to do all I can to please him with my life. Look what it says. It says, be sober. <laughs> be sober. See, now, mind you, when we talk about being sober, we talk about drinking and we talk about being intoxicated. We talk about being high and all this. And, 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 and we talk about folks sobering up. Amen. And so this particular scripture really is talking about being mindful and being aware lord have mercy it says be sober now watch i want to help somebody on tonight okay you may say all right pastor that's what it says it says be mindful and be aware but i want to help you i want to help you a sober life without alcohol listen to me well i i, I may be stepping on folk toe but it don't matter amen a sober life Without drugs, a sober life, with all that, without all that stuff, can I help you? Your mind, Lord have mercy, your mind, amen, will be able to function in a better way. Lord have mercy. I know I done lost some folk already, but it don't matter, amen. Even though the Bible is talking about being sober, being mindful, and being aware, can I help you? Your sober life without alcohol and drugs is your best life. Amen and praise the Lord. But it says be sober. So that means this. You ought not be at a point in your life to where you're making crazy decisions. You ought not be at a point in your life to where the, the, the devil can come in and knock you off guard. You, you should be at a point in, the life, in your life where you're making unwise choices. You should be at a point in your life to where you're not knowledgeable and aware of what the word of God is saying. Amen. You ought to be sober, amen, mindful and considerate of what God is saying and what God requires of you, amen, and praise the Lord. So you got to say this scripture is not for the one, amen, who just, who just want to try Jesus. No, 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 no. This is for the one who says that, guess what, <laughs> I'm on guard and I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Watch what it says. It said, be vigilant, right? Vigilant, watchful. Amen. You ought to be watchful. Okay, why, preacher? This is why. Because the adversary, your adversary, watch. The devil walks around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Now watch. I want to get you to understand this. 
You see, in this time and in this day, it talks about the devil walks like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. You've got to understand. I've got to put it in context. They were at risk of losing their life. And there were individuals who were after them 24-7 for proclaiming the name of Jesus the Christ. So can I help you? <laughs> this scripture meant way more, amen, than just talking about messy folk. Amen, praise the, uh, praise the Lord. Just, just talking about, amen, folk who just, you know, who carry stuff, amen, they should, and, and talk about stuff they ain't going to be talking about. And negative folk, uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't minimize the scripture. This scripture is talking about how they had to deal with the people coming after them for proclaiming the gospel. And of course, the devil himself was using those individuals to shut them up or try to shut them up. Because what? They were proclaiming the name of Jesus the Christ. So it says, watch. The devil walks around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. You've got to understand, people were trying to hunt them down to shut them up. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Can I help you? When you live a life for Christ to where you're standing up for what is right, justice, what is true according to the word of God, amen, what God has placed upon your heart, amen, can I help you? You will experience persecution. There are going to be those who are going to come after you, watch, not because you're doing anything wrong. And can I help somebody on tonight? I pray to God you get this. Stop, amen, stop allowing yourself to get down in the dumps when people attack you for your faith, for your righteousness, and for your holiness. Can I help you? <laughs> You've got to understand there's some attacks that's going to come your way just because you're doing it right. There's some attacks that's going to come your way just because you're trying to live for Christ. There's some attacks that's going to come your way just because you're doing the work and the will of God. Amen. So stop with your pity party. Stop with all that snotting and crying. Stop with all that being down and out. Amen. Just because, amen, the devil is using folk to come at you because you're trying to do the work and will of God. Can I help you? <laughs> The disciples help me to understand that it's an honor. Oh, Jesus. It's an honor to be persecuted for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Bible says, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of God. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Praise the Lord. Now watch. I tell you this all the time. Praise the Lord. If I offend you, oh, well. <laughs> Amen. There's sometimes, amen, some folk, amen, get talked about, get, 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 get talked about and talk like a dog. You know why? Because they out there living like a dog. Amen. Praise the Lord. So can I help somebody on tonight? Amen. You better stop. Amen. Using the Lord word. Amen. Trying to use it against folk. Amen. When you know you ain't living right. When you know you ain't doing right. When you know you ain't doing God's way. Oh, the devil. The devil is like, yep. And you are too. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is for the one who is living. Amen. For the kingdom of God. Lord have mercy. Because there's some. Amen. Stuff that gonna come your way. Can I help you? That guess what? That you deserve. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You ain't living right. You ain't doing right. You out there sinning. You doing stuff you ain't got no business. And folk talking about you. Well, amen. Praise the Lord. Let no one, like I said Sunday, let no one talk about you. Amen. Don't give them a reason to talk about you. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Amen. Let them talk about your shoes and your hair and your house and your car. But don't let them talk about your life and your walk with God. Amen. And praise the Lord. Holly, if you, if you really hear me. Amen. And praise the Lord. Look what it says. It says, resist him. Okay? Resist him. So you got to understand this one thing. The Bible lets me know that really and truthfully, as a child of God, I have to be able to identify, oh Lord, can I help you? That's why I said be sober. So guess what? You can't be all out your mind, right? You've got to be sober and watchful. Oh Lord, have mercy. So that you can identify when the enemy is at work. Oh Lord, have mercy. You have to be able to put your spiritual eyes on, amen, and know when the devil is at work. I didn't say it. The Bible tells me to be sober and vigilant. So you've got to understand, we've got to be able to identify and discern when the enemy is at work. It says resist him. Now watch. I want to help somebody on tonight. Stop trying to put the devil under your feet. <laughs> Jesus, stop trying to put the devil under your feet. Huh? You better resist him. Amen. Praise the Lord. You better put on the whole arm of God. Amen. So you can stand. Amen. And praise, praise the Lord. But you've got to understand, you've got to let the Lord fight that battle. Amen. And praise the Lord. Amen. God will give you utterance to say certain things when you need to. But God is showing me that sometimes, that guess what? <laughs> you just got to stand. Where you get that from, preacher? Resist him. Watch. Steadfast in the faith. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. So you resist him by standing strong in your faith. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You resist the devil by standing strong in your faith. Amen. In what God can do, but before that, in who God is. Amen. You must know that he is and a rewarder of those who what? Diligently seek him. But you've got to know that he is first. Amen. Before you seek him. Amen. For those things you know you have need of. Lord have mercy. Look what it says. Steadfast in the faith. Watch. Knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Look what it's saying to me. We've got to stop walking around as if we may be the only ones going through what we're going through. The Bible is letting the apostles know. He's letting those that are walking in the faith know that guess what? There are going to be those and there are those out there that's going to experience the same trouble that you are experiencing. Can I help you? It's letting us know you ain't no special. You ain't no different. And you know what God had to show me? If Christ suffered and died, if Christ had to go through what he went through, if Christ had to deal with the devil firsthand, if Christ was tempted at every hand, can I help you? The sufferings that we deal with because of our faith, the trouble we go through because of our faith in Jesus Christ, can I help you? There's somebody else going through the same thing that you're going through. And that's why, amen, we've got to understand it's important, amen, to have other brothers and sisters on our side, by our side, as we go through this Christian journey that got the same mindset. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I'm doing the work of the ministry. I'm going to serve him till I die. I'm going to give him my heart, my mind, my soul, and my strength. I'm going to go with Jesus all the way. If God be for me, who can be a Gets me. Amen. And praise the Lord. And you have people of like faith standing. What? Fasting, praying, preaching, sharing the word, doing the work and the will of God, and giving God, giving God all of uh, giving Him the glory. Amen. Amen. And praise the Lord. But look what it says. First, verse 10. <laughs> Verse 10, bless my heart. 
Verse 10, bless my heart. <laughs> Verse 10, bless my heart. Look what it says. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Jesus Christ. So you got to understand this one thing. We have got to give God his credit. God has called us. Amen. <laughs> He's called us to his eternal glory by Jesus Christ. So because of our faith in Christ, because of what Christ did on Calvary's cross, because of the shedding of his blood, because of his sacrifice, because him hanging, bleeding, and dying, and raising the third day, now... We have what? We have been called into his family. What? To an eternal, eternal glory. Watch this. Look what you got to understand. <laughs> After you have suffered a while. <laughs> I want to help somebody on the night. You should have shouted already. Doggone it. After you have suffered a while. Y'all didn't get it. <laughs> After you have suffered a while. Let me tell you what a while is. Amen. When you look at a while. Amen. <laughs> a while has a beginning. You should have shouted by now. A while has a beginning and an end. <laughs> Y'all missed it. A while has a beginning and an end. Preacher. Get to you. It has a beginning, and it, so what does that mean? It means trouble don't last always. <laughs> Lord, you should have been and shouted by now. Amen. And like that old song says, I'm so glad trouble don't last always. What? Trouble don't last always. Amen. It's in the word. Amen. After you have suffered beep, a while. <laughs> Watch this. Perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. You got to get that one. Perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. What does perfect mean? Make you complete. Right? Make you whole. Establish. That means allow you to be stable. Strengthen. You'll be able to stand in such a way. Amen. Praise the Lord and handle the winds and the waves of life. Watch this and settle you. Amen. To the point to where you'll be able to say, I shall not, I shall not be moved. Lord have mercy. And can I help you? All of that. Amen. Strengthening, strengthening us and establishing us. Can I help you? The Bible clearly says that guess what? He's called us into his eternal glory. Amen. So watch. He's going to complete us for eternity. Amen. Praise the Lord. Make us whole. Amen. And praise. Praise the Lord. He will, he will strengthen you. I want to help somebody on tonight. Don't allow yourself. To let your troubles trouble you. <laughs> Somebody caught it. Don't allow yourself to let your troubles trouble you. As a child of God, a defender of the faith, a worker of Jesus Christ, one who has placed their faith in Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior, can I help you? Trouble, Lord, have mercy. Trouble, amen, was not designed to take you out. Amen and praise the Lord. It says after you have suffered a while, amen, a start and an end, he's going to establish you. So you've got to understand this one thing. People of God, we have got to get to the point to where we stop allowing ourselves to let our troubles get us to the point to where we want to run, duck, and hide. We want to run from what it is that's going on. We want to run from this and run from that. I want to help somebody on tonight. The key to your peace, the key to your stability, 
the key to you being stable, the key to you getting to a point to where you are settled is when you accept the winds and waves of life, you accept the trouble that God allows to come your way and you understand that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and are the called according to his purpose. Can I help you? Trouble was designed to strengthen you. It was designed to help you to grow. It was designed to get you to a point of maturity. And can I help you when God get through with me? When God get through with you? Can I help you? Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has in store. Lord have mercy. It got to get to a point to where we accept what God allows in our life and know he got a purpose for it. There's a reason for it. I want to share this with you. There, there's a purpose behind your pain. Oh, Lord have mercy. I can stop right now. Right? That there's something that God, amen, has in store, right? There's a purpose behind your tears. There's a purpose behind your struggles. God will use the very thing you thought was going to take you up out of here to strengthen your faith, Woo! to help you to live better, to help you to serve him better, to help you to treat people better to help you to do his work amen all to his glory and i want to help somebody on tonight amen verse number 11 helps me to understand where i should be what i should be doing when I, god does what he does in my life <laughs> y'all ain't ready <laughs> verse number 11 is where God wants us to be when, we, when, when he allows things in our life and we're able to see him working in our life. What, preacher? <laughs> Y'all done missed it. Y'all done missed it. You should have been shouted by now. <laughs> How many of you, amen, praise the Lord. The Lord used you in such a way, amen, to where he put something in your spirit and you had to go out and do it. You didn't understand the folk around you didn't understand, but at the same time, God put it on you to do it, amen, and praise the Lord, amen, and you're doing it all to the glory of God. It reminds me of Noah. Noah had to build a boat, amen, for rain that had never existed. You got to understand that, guess what? He dealt with ridicule. He dealt with stuff that came his way. He dealt with folk clowning him and laughing at him, but God told him to build a boat. God told him to build an ark. God told told him to put all them animals on that boat. Can I help somebody on tonight? You have got to have a faith to win nobody else. <laughs> nobody else going to walk with you, talk with you. Amen. You are able to do what thus said the Lord. No matter what come with me. And you stand on it. And you trust God to take care of you and walk you through it. Lord have mercy. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. I want to help somebody on tonight. When the Lord brings you through it, when the Lord establishes you, when the Lord allows you to get to a point to where you've seen him move in your life and do some things in your life to strengthen you for ministry, to help you to be a better Christian, to help you to preach his word better, to help you to teach his word better, to help you to share his word. Can I help you? You ought to have a shout in your heart. Don't take credit. You ought to be able to say to him, be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Don't take God credit when he gets you right. Don't take don't take his credit when he strengthened you. Don't take his credit when he settled you. Don't take his credit when he established you and allowed you to be stable. Don't take his credit. Say all glory and honor be to the Lord. <laughs> Why? To him be the glory and dominion forever, <laughs> forever and ever. 
Amen. You ought to have a shout in your heart. Amen. When you see the Lord move in your life. Amen. And praise the Lord. You've got to understand that God has called us to stand strong in his word. He's called us to look different from the world. He ain't called us to walk around condemning the world, right? Beating folk down, amen, with the No, but he did, he did call you to stand out. <laughs> he did call you to stand up, amen. He did call you to put on the whole arm of God. He did call you to share his word. He did call you to live for him. He did call you to tell somebody about Jesus. He did call you to tell somebody about the gospel of Jesus the Christ. He did call you to what? To actually stand up for him and represent the kingdom of God. Not just when it's easy. <laughs> Not just when it's all copacetic. <laughs> Not when everything is all good. No, no, no. The Bible lets me know. It's very, very, very clear. <laughs> it says, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. So you got to understand that guess what? This Christian journey ain't easy. Ain't going to be easy. Tough sometimes. Because the world going to try to dictate to you how you're supposed to feel, how you're supposed to act, how you're supposed to think. But can I help you? Stand. Stand for the kingdom of God. And watch God walk with you. Watch God prepare the way. But can I help you? It's going to cause you to have some faith. Because sometimes, can I help you? You got to have a crazy faith. Okay, wait a minute, preacher. What you mean by the crazy faith? A faith where when it seems like it don't even make sense to have faith. <laughs> you got to have a crazy faith. Amen. A faith to where, you know what? I'm going to do the will of God. You know what? I'm going to speak on the kingdom. You know what? I'm going to live for Jesus. You know what? I'm going I'm to I'm speak of his goodness, his grace, and his mercy. And not allow anybody or nobody around you to make you feel uncomfortable for doing so. You know why? Because it's not them that woke you up this morning. And it's not them that called you into his eternal glory. It's the God of heaven. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God who created the heavens and the earth. The God, amen, who sent his only begotten son to die for the sins of you and I. The God, amen. Who's going to send his son to come back for his church. People of God, can I help you? It is time for us to stand for Christ. Sober up. <laughs> Sober up. Stop living life any kind of way. Stop letting the devil just use and, and take advantage of the situations that you're in. Influence the situations that you're in. Not necessarily influence you. But yet at the same time, you're so naive, you can't tell when the devil at work. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Be sober and vigilant. Sober up. And allow the Holy Spirit to cause you to walk in such a way. Amen. And praise the Lord that even when trouble comes, my, 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 you'll be able to stand. And at the end of the day, God will allow you to be complete. <laughs> Amen. And he'll put a praise in your heart. He'll put a shout, amen, on your lips, amen, to where you will tell the world. Can't nobody tell it like I can tell it what the Lord has done for me, amen. And we, amen, we owe it to God to give him, amen, to give him our all, give him our heart, amen, and let him use us, amen, all to his Glory. God bless you, saints of God. Real good is my prayer. Amen. It got good. Amen. I, I, I almost went there. I said, Lord, I got, I got to bring it back down. Amen. Praise the Lord. We just thank God on tonight. I thank God for you all, and I thank God for you tuning in. We thank God for just watching over us and just being there with us and being there for us because we know God is a good God. Amen. And he is a faithful God. God is faithful to us even when we're not faithful. 
So we got to just, we just got to praise him for that. I want to pray for us on tonight. Amen. And pray with me on tonight. If you have some special prayer requests on tonight, amen, praise the Lord. Scroll them across the screen. Amen. So that we can be in agreement and praying together. Amen. So pray with me as I pray on tonight. <coughs> Lord God, thank you. Thank you for this night. Thank you for this word. Thank you for your grace. I understand and know that God, that you are, you're great. You're mighty. You're wonderful. You're, you're awesome. Apart from you, Lord, there is no other. Pray tonight for somebody Lord, who may, who may need a physical healing. Lord, you know where it is and what it is and what to do. Have your way, Father God. Maybe somebody on tonight that needs a spiritual healing. Move tonight, Father God. Touch their hearts, touch their mind and help them to understand that God that you are God and you are God alone. And you are a God of peace. You are God of love. You are God of truth. Touch them tonight. Help them to understand that God, that you save. You save to the utmost. So we just pray, Lord, you touch them tonight. Pray for somebody, dear God, who may be confused about something. Lord, give them clarity. So that they're able to move on and, Lord, do what you called them to do and do it effectively. Somebody on tonight that's worried about a family member, a relationship. But, Lord, touch right now, dear God, and help them to understand, Lord, that you are always in control. And your will will be done. And whatever you allow, dear God, you allow. But help them to be sensitive to your spirit, to know what to do in the situation that they're in so that they do all the things you've commanded them to do and Lord allow you to handle the rest pray tonight for some lost soul who don't know Jesus Lord save them tonight Lord my prayer is that you would touch all of us put your word in our hearts so that we're able to share the gospel to a dying world and let them know that Jesus Christ is the answer. Jesus Christ paid the price. Jesus Christ, amen, can take care of them, save their soul, deliver them. And Jesus Christ shed his blood so that they would not have to die. So Lord, have your way on tonight. Do what you have to do on tonight. We give it all to you on tonight, all to your glory. We give it all to you because, Lord, you are worthy. You're worthy of it all. But we thank you. We love you. And we do praise your name. My, my, my. It is in the mighty name of Jesus we do pray. Thank you and ask it all. Amen. And amen again. My, my, my. Your troubles show. 
in our heart and in our lips so that we're able to tell a dying world they don't have to die and go to hell but they can have life and have it more abundantly have your way Father God have your way we love you we adore you we lift you up and we magnify your most holy and your most righteous name it's in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ our Lord our Savior we do pray amen 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 again. Truly God is good and he is good all the time. Good night y'all. Love y'all. Amen.